Pope Francis has urged the Philippine government to tackle corruption on the first full day of his visit to the predominantly Catholic nation. He met with President Benigno Aquino, who took office in 2010, promising to lift the country from poverty. But a quarter of the country's 100 million people are still poor, and hundreds of them have used the pontiff's visit to draw attention to their cause. Tanya Lee reports. They gathered hours earlier, waiting for the chance to take photos or even get blessed by the Pope. I know he won't appreciate it yet, but I want him to see the Pope in some way. Arriving in his no-frills style, for Pope Francis, this was a chance to get close to Filipinos. Around 80% of the population are Roman Catholics. Inside the presidential palace, he met President Benigno Aquino, calling for the leader to tackle corruption and put an end to social inequality. It is now more than ever necessary that political leaders be outstanding for the honesty, integrity, a commitment to the common world. Not far away, hundreds rallied to urge the Pope to see the real face of poverty, but were prevented access by police. They have uh, prohibited the poor to actually meet the Pope. They have put up barricades. Uh, and it, this is ironic because the Pope is the Pope of the poor. Later, he made his way to the first mass in the country. Huge crowds gathered outside, but found it difficult to see him due to the heavy policing. 50,000 personnel are on hand, the Philippines' largest ever security operation. National holidays have been declared in the capital for the duration of the Pope's visit, which is focused on those at the bottom of the economic ladder. He is expected to meet survivors still struggling to recover from Typhoon Haiyan in Tacloban tomorrow. Tanya Lee, ABC News.